for sustainability and a greener game. That is Edgebaston's ambition. Their pledge is to be the most sustainable cricket stadium in the UK and a net zero venue by 2030. Now, the Game Changer report published by the Climate Coalition earlier this year found that out of all the major pitch sports, cricket will be the hardest hit by climate change. So let's find out more about how Edgebaston are doing their bit for the environment. The garden's lovely. I know. Lydia, it's not every day you come to a cricket stadium and you see, you know, an allotment, a garden full of fruit and vegetables. How long um, have you had the garden here at Edgebaston? We've had the garden for about three years, since around 2020. Um, over the last 12 months, it's expanded loads. We've got extra planters. Um, we've got the greenhouse and compost bins. So we're so proud of it. Um, it's really sort of unique. Um, it's great for the chefs and our spectators and clients as well. What else are the chefs doing in the kitchen, Lydia, to you know, create more of a sustainable environment? So we, we've got lots of targets in place. So we have no air freighted produce in our kitchens or serve to our guests. Um, we have 80% is local seasonal produce um, with over 95% freshly prepared on site. So that's really important to us that the food that we're serving is prepared here at Edgebaston and it's just the best tasting, best quality that we can possibly pr provide. And by implementing these things, how much of a difference have you seen? We've seen a great, a massive difference. Um, we've saved around nine tonnes of food waste going into um, incineration. So that's really, really great. Um, but now we just need to reduce that number um, and be wasting even less. Food, drink, hospitality is a massive part of being at the cricket. Talk us through how you know things like the cups and the food packaging are eco-friendly. So we currently use cardboard takeaway boxes, but we are looking to move towards these not plath boxes, which are made of 100% seaweed. There's no plastic whatsoever, so they can go into the recycling bins or they can go into compost. So it shows a 47% saving on plastic lined boxes so it's a really really good step forward and the drinks the cups you're really trying to reduce single-use plastic talk to me about the reusable cup scheme yeah so we have our e-cups and we've had them in place since 2016 um, and saved nearly three three million uh, single-use plastic cups from going to landfill or other areas so it's really really important you pay a deposit for your cup and you have that all day and then you can return it at the end of the day and then we reuse it match after match well Lydia we're in the shop we've got the Birmingham Phoenix kit behind us and even these shirts are sustainable aren't they yeah they're made of 100% recycled materials they're also fully recyclable so I mean, the colours make a statement, so we also wanted to make a statement with what they're made out of. So making the changes at the source where the products are made, the whole life cycle of that shirt or hat or any product, it's really important to make sure throughout the whole process it is as sustainable as possible. Something very exciting is happening here in September, isn't it? Yeah, we're hosting England versus New Zealand IT20 and it's our first sustainable match day and it'll be our Go Green game and the aim is to raise awareness and engage with our spectators um, on all things sustainable and put some new projects in place on the day just to try and make small changes and show what impact sports fans can have on the climate and on sustainability. So it's really, really exciting. What kinds of things can fans and players and spectators expect on the day then Lydia? So on the day we're encouraging the use of public transport we've got free shuttle bus from Birmingham New Street station and all um, National Express West Midlands buses will be free of charge with your match day ticket so that's really really good. Four and six cards will be made of seed paper so we'll encourage all the spectators to take them home plant them in their garden and you'll get lovely wildflowers growing um, just to increase biodiversity diversity and reduce waste as well. Wow, it's been so great to see how much Edgebaston are doing to be eco-friendly and I'm looking forward to seeing how their sustainability journey develops.